What's up everybody, Potato Man here, and welcome back to another stream. After a week of not being here, welcome back. So obviously I am back from my vacation, and we're back playing a different game. I own all of these games. I already played Man of Medan. It was great. I just started playing Little Hope, but... I had a kind of a I would I don't know if I'd use the word revelation, but I did think heavily on some of the games I have and some of the games I actually had yeah, just some of the games I have. And I think that the games I've been thinking about in regards to streaming it'll be a pretty damn good idea. This for example I have this, pretty much all of the Dark Pictures Anthology games uh, in mind. I have the Quarry in mind. I, I have the new System Shock, so we'll be doing that. Just quite a few different new-er games, I guess, that we can be streaming. So at least uh, I kind of, you know, updated my stream list, if you will. HDR is on. Nice. Turn that up. Whoa. Now I know this game is like fairly dark. Okay. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I will be turning this down. Graphics Ultra, yes, sir. That off. Oh, you can't turn it off all the way. But yeah, considering I've got a high considering I've got a high end PC, I will be doing this. I need to do something. Oh, no. Okay. Disable the preview. Just uh, bear with me for a quick second here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Bar with me. Uh, actually, hold on. By the way, I am using a PlayStation controller, not an Xbox. Controls. Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, my Xbox controller is completely dead. Oh, Jesus, man. Hold on. I have the preview enabled again. Okay, play alone. Continue. Oh, shit. Oh, there's my... Oh, there's my story. Okay. Obviously, we're gonna do a new one. Death is inevitable. Your skill will be tested. I never knew that there were difficulties for this. Or, at least, I don't remember there were difficulty settings. Uh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I remember this Stop opening now. Presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Oh. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Altruistic. Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Oh. Okay. Um, do bamboo. Can they jump by? Gosh. You can't do the It looks like a fish. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get it going. I'm just going to pause this quick. I will say, and it and when I played this the first time, like a couple of years ago, I had the same exact opinion about the voice acting. The voice acting seems so off. Now, I don't know if... I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticing that, that ever noticed it, but I do notice that the voice acting seems... 
not too professional or not not too experienced. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But it's still a great game, nonetheless. I look past that. Fine, sure. Let me know the order. Gonna start attack. Thing I like about these games, most games like this anyway, even while I'm streaming, I could literally just kick back, relax, put my legs up, chair, and play the game and stream. That's what I'm doing right now. Legs up on my bed. Ah. Laying back in my chair, streaming, playing. Oh yeah, nothing better, man. I'll give it a whirl. I remember this too. Okay. Oh. Uh. Have a nice day. I accidentally pressed the button before I actually got to it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. Whoa. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. God. This game and all of my all of my other games just look. I still can't get over how great everything looks on my uh, new computer. I mean, I know I've had this new computer for like, uh, what, like a few months now, right? And I'm still just in awe for the fact that I actually finally was able to upgrade my computer and I have all the new shit. You know, glad about that. And also, I went ahead before I started the stream. I went ahead and I actually enabled 1440 quality on my streams. I don't know why I haven't done it before. Uh, you know, especially when I upgraded my computer, it was it was in my mind like I was like, yeah, I, you know, it's something I want to do. I want to increase the qualities of my streams, but I never did it until today. So now, ladies and gentlemen. Just so you know, you can now watch my streams in 1440p. These men I think that counts for YouTube as well. Obviously, I just had to do some things on my Get OBS. Pretty simple enough. Throw the other in the bridge and keep in there.
go. I didn't see anything else in here, so I don't think there's anything to be searched. Just see if there is something in here. I don't remember if there is or not. Probably not. No. Oh, the quality is insane. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Phone went off and it distracted me. Man, every fucking time I'm streaming, my phone is always going off. I actually thought I had it on silent this time. 
fucking phone just scared the shit out of me. What was that? Phone scared me so fucking bad I messed up on that. Oh my god. Hey, Charlie, help! Said it. Fubar and then son. <laughs> go back? Of course we can't go back. There was still there were still stuff to search. God damn it. Only I would go the right way, right? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? Charlie! Get over here! Oh God, no! Charlie!
shit. <laughs> Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. 
I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. There's Sean Ashmore. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Missing. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes.
Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? I'm touched. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Oh, yes. Hmm. An opening might be a way in.
There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but... You know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Do you know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Can I hear?